OctaFastPass is one of the most comprehensive and secure authenticators in the market, supported on all major platforms, Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows. In this video, I'll log in as an admin, provide an overview of the backend configuration used in this demo. Next, I'll walk you through the FastPass user experience of Alec. Let's get started. I'm now logged in as an admin. Inside the Okta Verify Authenticator setting, I'm requiring user verification so that users like Alec can confirm the user verification using biometric or device passcode, offering greater flexibility for users who cannot use biometric or are in devices which don't support biometric. Moving on to device assurance policies, I have created a policy for each of the platforms we support to check security-related device attributes. In this demo, I'll walk you through the experience on macOS and Windows. Bringing this all together, I've created an application sign-on policy that'll enforce the device assurance policies I've created earlier for all our employees. In this application sign-on policy, a limit authentication to a phishing-resistant factor that is hardware protected while enforcing user verification with either passcode or biometrics. And the catch-all rule is set to deny. This application sign-on policy is assigned to the Okta dashboard, and that concludes the backend configuration. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through the Okta FastPass experience. Alec is on a Mac device. In the interest of time, Okta Verify is already installed and enrolled on his device. Alex can view the security health of his device on the Okta Verify app, which shows that key security checks are all up to date. When Alex tries to log in to the Okta dashboard, he is given the option to sign in with Okta FastPass. Alex is prompted to verify using Touch ID or password to verify. Alex follows the prompt for Touch ID and he is successfully authenticated in a seamless and a passwordless experience. In this demo, I'll walk you through another FastPass experience, but this time access is denied based on failing device checks. Alec is on a Windows device. When he checks the health of his device, Okta Verify shows that his device needs an update since he is on an older version of Windows. When Alec Follow steps to log in, he is denied access since device requirements are not being met. This is the expected outcome. Alec is provided with remediation instructions to get his device back on compliance before he is allowed access again. In this next demo, I'll walk you through a credential phishing attack. I've configured Evil Jinx, a popular man in the middle attack framework used to fish for login credentials and session cookies. I have two windows open here. On the right, I have Evil Jinx up and running. On the left, I have the Chrome browser, Okta Verify, and FastPass are installed and registered. Currently, there are no active sessions. Evil Jinx has generated a phishing link for credential phishing. If someone like Alec were to land on this phishing page, and attempt to authenticate with FastPass. Okta displays a suspicious page warning and block the verification attempt. Back in the window with Evil Jinx, it shows a new visitor just arrived. But let's look at the session. There are no usernames, passwords, or tokens. Nothing was stolen. The phishing attempt was unsuccessful. Okta FastPass was able to block a sophisticated phishing attack in real time. Let me recap. In one single authenticator, you get phishing resistant, passwordless authentication, and device posture checks, all while delivering a user-friendly experience that is consistent across all major platforms. For more information, visit FastPass website. Thank you.